Hello. Welcome to an, my, a tutorial by the Paper Whisperer. This is of a model I designed really recently called the Sans, the um, Viking helmet. As you see, it has the two horns and it even has a really cool looking Viking face if you look carefully through, if you look on the bottom. And if you make it out of 40 to 50 centimeter paper, depending on how big your head is, it will actually fit your head. And it's pretty cool. So let's get started. So we're gonna start white side up with a, I'm gonna use a square, a eight inch or 20 centimeter square of tissue foil from Origami Shop. And they are, they have such good quality paper. It took a bit longer than I expected, but it was perfect. I love them. So you're gonna start by folding in half in all directions. And I mean all directions. So fold in half diagonally. Make a strong, make sure you make strong and precise creases. So you fold in diagonally both ways. Then unfold and do the rectangular ways. Now we're gonna fold the corners to the middle. I will warn you, this is a fairly complex model. It's not exactly completely complex. I'd say it's more of a low intermediate, but um, it's still pretty hard first. So if you're start, if you're very very new to origami, I would not recommend it very at all. So once you fold the corners in the middle, you're gonna unfold. It should look like this. Then let me change my surface angle a bit. Then you're gonna make a special crease. You're gonna fold the each edge in the middle, but you're only you see how there's a mark. See how there's a, um a space between um there's there should be four sections made by triangles. You're gonna only do the two sections in the middle to crease. It should be divided into fourths, and only do the four two middle fourths. Do this all the way around. Then unfold. Then, well, I guess you don't. I don't really need to say unfold because you can't really keep it folded. Anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna. This step's a bit tricky, by the way. It should look like this. It should be symmetrical. Now, this is the tricky step. You're. Gonna, you see how the the middle crease hits the edge right there. You're gonna make a crease from that and to the two furthest corners of the square in the middle. So I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna kind of put it, make a pinch where you where I just showed you, and you're gonna fit it until you see the intersection, the last intersection. But the trick to this is you gotta make sure it's really accurate, otherwise the collapse won't be easy. So as you see, a crease from the corner to the to the um oops, that wasn't very accurate. Let me fix that real quick. The um this um so basically it's like that. To, from the where the middle or the rectangular middle calf crease hits the edge to the corner. Now you're gonna do that both ways for each time the for each time the half crease hits the edge. The fold in half rectangularly. Set up, but don't fold it all the way. Only what to the intersection. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that all the way around. I'm gonna show that. Just in case you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'd be happy to make another version of it. Make sure it's very accurate. I'm gonna zoom out a bit with my paper so that's easier for you to see. I'm halfway done. 
This is one of the tree. This is the tree part of the pre tree thing. Okay. A couple more. Okay, six down, two to go. One last bit. Time to, I don't know. I'm just gonna say, what work sack half crease thing. I can't say it whole every time I talk about it. It's gonna just take, make the video too long. And the final one. If you think, if you want me to design something else, feel free to comment down below. If you enjoy this. So now, once we have this, we're going to turn it over. It doesn't look too perfect. It's going to look like this. Ignore this one. So now we're going to do the collapse. What we're going to start by doing is, you see that octagon in the middle? What you're gonna do, let me make this a bit better, not that high, um, you're gonna make the, uh, each of those a mountain fold. And this is the hardest part, the collapse. Now, as you're gonna see, each corner of the octagon, or vertice, I should say, hit, it has a crease going outward. You're gonna make all of those mountain folds. all the regular ones, not the diagonal ones. It should now look like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're, you see there's how there's a mount, two folds going um, up towards the octagon that spread at the same point. They're really close to each other, so not the, these, but these. See how they're going towards the octagon corners? What you're going to do is you're going to make those mountain folds. Now, here comes the tricky step. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of cut. You're going to kind of pinch it together so that so that this see how it comes together. Sorry if I can't show you, I'll show you what it looks like. One sec. Even though I designed this, I'm not perfect at it. No one's perfect, right? Feel free to check out my other channel, The Autistic Way Around. It's all, I, and if you're autistic and you're watching this, I, greetings. See how, so there's this little thing I made. Thing I'm jig you see? How there's like this kind of reverse thing you're gonna do that on all the corners just make sure that there's no squiggly lines by that I mean like a fold that doesn't go all the way your goal is to just be careful and if you sing if you're getting frustrated feel free to take a break it, you'll get it eventually if you keep on trying but of course, there's, it's okay to take breaks, like I said. And as I said, this is a fairly fairly hard origami. I mean, it's a little intermediate, but it's um still not. I would not recommend it. So um, do you know that I actually did not design this collapse? I, I well, I did, but um. I didn't exactly fully get the whole idea from it. I got it based off of the motorcycle by Ryo Oki. Feel free to check that out. Check, feel free to check him out or her. I don't know. I haven't like, seen a picture of them. Anyways, they um, there's my there's a few tutorials for that on YouTube, like this. And once you do that, you're gonna kind of push them together, creating like these four claws. 
and it should work. Oops, one sec. It should look like a base. Like this. Now you're going to fold all of these up on the existing crease. I don't know why this is so hard for me. I haven't done this in a while. Well I, well, I guess it wasn't too much of a while because I designed it fairly, really recently. Either way, whatever it is, I'm not perfect at it like I said, no one's perfect. And the last one. Now we're gonna squash it. It's kind of an open sink. Not really. You're gonna put these two flap put pull these two flaps together. Put these two flaps together. And squash down here. On the other one. Should look a lot like a really cool metal or flower with the leaves and everything. And or I guess whatever you want to think it is. It's pretty cool. Now this is my favorite base I ever designed. Anyways, um what you're gonna do is this part's another tricky part. That's the third one. Yeah, it's maybe it's more of an intermediate. Yeah, it's a little intermediate. I'm good. Is you're gonna pull this out. And you're gonna basically make sure you kind of pull it out and squash it down. Basically pulling the square base out. Repeat on this side. I'm do I'm gonna go a bit quicker. No, I don't if you're wondering, no, I don't use time lapse. I don't I think it takes up much more storage than it needs to. Than it should, so I just don't use it. At least I try not to. Ta da! Now, unfortunately, we're not done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the, the top edges of this base down, the mini base, sub base, I don't know what you're gonna call it, what you want to call it, and unfold. Now you're gonna turn those into squash folds. Do one at a time. Just do one first, so it should look like this. Then, fold the bottom edges of that to the middle. This time we're gonna make a petal fold. If you know what, don't know what that is, um, it's basically a fold where you kind of fold it up. Here, let me show you. And there. And you're gonna fold it up, flatten it up, and now this is another tricky step, but not too tricky. You're gonna un you're gonna pull it out, push, make the value fold out. You just made a mountain fold and put it in. Now fold it to the side and repeat on the other one. Oops, wrong side. Make sure it doesn't rip. It's okay if it does. It's not a big deal. It's easy to fix. You haven't gone so too far. You're about halfway done. Maybe, probably more actually. And just push it in. And flatten. And so it should look like this, so a really small diamond or rhombus, as some people call it, base. Do this. Just fold it all the way up. Oops, I made a mistake. Anywho, and you're gonna make a, a you're gonna fold it down, and now you're gonna. Wait, make sure you make it fold it up first. Then you're gonna um make a rabbit ear. And then make
make a reverse fold at the top of the rabbit ear. As you see, these are the horns starting to form. If you want, you can leave it up. I prefer to fold it to the side. I think it's easier. Anyways, repeat on the other side. Oops, wrong way. Not a big deal. It'll help me later. You know, when what I think is when you're designing an origami, there's no such thing as extra graces. There's just it's just another step that helps the um that helps you create your origami. It could help you. It can make it worse, and you have plenty of paper, right? At least I do. And the last one. Okay. You gotta just reach in there. That happens to everyone sometimes. Make sure it goes all the way to the grease. We're gonna pull it out. Okay, we're almost done. Stick it, stick with me. Or you do this, hold it down, and grease to the rabbit ear. Like I said, I'm gonna be going a bit quicker on this one. horns may not be even that's okay it's gonna be all right now this is an, a, a really fun part and turn it over and you're gonna this these make sure these are extremely strong creases but you're gonna turn it over and fold the the two two of the edges that are divided by this um point this line um Make fold them up to, from the corner, from the edge, from the corner that their their side is on to the crease. Repeat on this one, and now create another rabbit ear. What you're gonna do with this one is you're gonna fold to the side, pull it to the side again, then you're gonna fold you're gonna fold this here and make a squash look like that now you're gonna take this and tuck it under everything as far as it goes and, and I mean it now you're gonna flatten this as much as you can you want these creases to be extra strong it really is important especially the middle where you just fold it under now you're gonna repeat on this side got to used to this new angle as soon as the rabbit ear starts popping up automatically, that's a good sign. It means your creases are going well. Squash fold. Squash fold. Comment down below if you like this origami. And make sure to give a like. You don't have to subscribe, I don't really care. What matters is that I'm getting my content out. Now, time for the shaping. As you see, it looks nothing like a Viking helmet. Okay, there. The horns are up. Now, I'm going to pull from under and open it. See so yeah, how starting to get a circular shape? What you're going to do is you're going to fold you're going to fold these together and tuck this in here. And fold this up. Make sure it's really good tucked in. Repeat on the other side. Comes undone. That happens to everyone sometimes. I'm a professional at this since well, I made it. 
now we have one last thing to do yeah make sure these are staying so kind of crease as hard as you can now by the way this is not gonna fit anyone's head except maybe a doll or maybe a really cute puppy dog that's really small now the final step is to make an indent by pushing with your finger repeat on both sides and you're done I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.